Okay, I'm gonna go over some file browser basics. And now some of you already know what the file browser is. Those of you that don't, I'm gonna show you how to use it and some other helpful tips on making your life a lot easier. So now there's a couple of ways we can open up the file browser. We can come up here to file and select browse or we can just come right over here next to the palette well and there's a little toggle icon right here, a little folder, a little magnifying glass on it. This will toggle back and forth the file browser. If you click it, the file browser comes up on the screen. If we click it again, the file browser disappears. Now, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but the file browser in Photoshop CS is no longer a is, is it's no longer a palette okay it's in its own separate window now which makes it really nice I love it this way and the file browser basically allows us to open images okay it allows us to browse images on our hard drive but we can also see those images in, 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 in thumbnails and then also it's almost like a tool we have so much control over the images while we're browsing them I've got to show you like what this thing can do so I'm gonna go over here and over here in the folder view just scroll up and uh, this is where we, you know, we browse to the to the folder on a hard drive that contains the images that we want to browse. I'll just go to a partition or go to the hard drive, and I'll just scroll down and locate the folder that I want to browse. So let's see right here, File Browser Basics. And I'll click on that and then it'll show all the images in that folder in big, nice thumbnails on the side here. So this is a lot better, it's a very useful tool and it's a lot better than going to like, or using the, the operating systems finder or just going up here to the open dialog. We have so much more control using the file browser to browse through our images. So this is really cool. And all we have to do, if you want to open up an image that you're browsing, just double click on it and it'll open up right in Photoshop so there you go and that's really cool so let me try that again I'll double click on I think I clicked on it more than once but it'll open up the image and you can go ahead and add changes to it and then go ahead and save it okay but the file browser does so much more we can actually control the size of the thumbnails okay we can have medium thumbnails small thumbnails okay if you have a folder loaded with just thousands of images you might want to you know browse them with smaller thumbnails you can and we can just, you know, cha I'll change that back to large. And if you've noticed, you know, if you highlight an image, you look down here where it says metadata. Metadata contains, the, you know, all, all the information in that image, all the properties, the width, the height, the color mode, the data was created, the color profile, the bit depth, it's all right here. And check this out. If you scroll down, it'll actually tell you the camera information. These are all digital photos uh, taken with a digital camera. So if you look down here, it'll tell me the make of the camera and the model of the camera the day it was t you know the day the shot was taken and also we have exposure time shutter speed f stop aperture value it's all right here so if you wanted to take the exact same picture you could because you know exactly the settings that were on the camera while you took the shot and this is so cool you've got vocal length down here the flash you can see it did not fire at that time so it's just really nice we have all this information in the metadata down here it's just you know it really goes into detail and this you know this only find this in the file browser if you go into you know use your operating systems finder or just go up to the open Open dialog you're not going to get all this information so really take advantage of it this is the greatest tool in every single version of Photoshop they keep adding more and more features to the file browser so it's really exciting let me show you something else here okay now you can actually rotate images in the file browser okay I'm gonna scroll down here and if you look at these images right here this one this one this one and this one and this one they are all going like a uh, horizontally they need to be flipped up vertical so the image looks right right well we can actually rotate images in the file browser let me show you how to do this hold down the command key and that is the control key on the PC hold that down and then click on the images that you want to rotate like say this one uh, is it this one, this one, and this one. That looks pretty good. I think that's the, all the ones that I have. All I want to do is I want to rotate these images, okay? Watch this. All you have to do is just right click on one of the selected images, come right down here, and you have rotate options. Now, I'm going to want to probably select uh, counterclockwise. Uh, counter if, if I selected clockwise, it would probably flip the image upside down. So I don't want to do that. I want to flip the image right side up. So I'm going to select counterclockwise. And then you get a little prompt here. All it's going to tell you is that it's not going to actually apply the rotation to the image until you select apply. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click okay. 
And now the images, they look, they, they look like they've been rotated in the file browser, okay? They have, but only in the file browser. The actual file has not been effected yet. If you want to actually apply the rotation to the file, right click on it, come down here to apply rotation. And it'll ask you, you know, are you sure? It'll actually, actually, it'll tell you that it might degrade some of the quality in the image when it rotates it, which is okay. I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. Photoshop does its work. It goes ahead and actually rotates the images. So we just wait here while it does that. There we go. So now they're actually applied to the image. So there you go. That's a little helpful tip there uh, if you want to actually do that. Now you can rename the images in the file browser. Okay, all you have to do is just click on the little name down here, and there you go. And you just go ahead and type in a custom name. All right, and there's something else here I want to show you. Come right over here to the folders, uh, little folder palette here. Come all the way down, and you'll see down here where it says favorite folders. Okay, we actually have uh, the file browser makes a little favorite folders, which is always there. It's always there in the file browser. Let me show you this. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, make this. Uh, Go ahead and close this up a little bit. Favorite folders, okay? So in other words, these are my favorite folders that I have. Justin, I have a Justin folder there, and I also have some samples folder here, okay? If we wanted to add a new favorite folder to that, let me see, I'm gonna go ahead and just, I can go ahead and remove that favorite folder, and then I can go ahead and add any favorite folder, any folder to the favorite folders by just right clicking and then selecting add folder to favorites. Now it doesn't actually make a copy, it's just a quick shortcut, okay, to the actual original folder, which is right here. So that's a useful tool. So if I'm way down here and I've got all these folders expanded, and I want to just quickly get to my favorite folders. All I have to do is just scroll all the way down to the bottom and then click on Justin's folder right there. And I'll click on samples. And I can easily get to my favorite folders. And that's what's so nice about that. So these are some really cool things. And let me show you also, if you highlight an image, you can actually make this uh, little preview area over here bigger or smaller. Okay, so you can actually, you can make it taller. You can add, you widen it up by just clicking on the little bar here right in the middle. And so that's a really nice feature. If you want a larger preview, before you open it up in Photoshop, you can do that. I can click over here and over here and look at that. So that is the file browser and that is how we use it. It's a very useful tool. Okay, so take advantage of that and we'll see you on the next video.